Hello everybody, Brennan here, and welcome to the second video of four I'm making in the Sabres and Outfits series for this week. Next week I'll have some different content for you all as I'm trying to get back to this channel as much as I can. Today I'm going to be doing the detective outfits for you all, and there are three of them. There's a white shirt with blue trousers, there's a pink shirt with a navy tie with also blue trousers, and then there's a navy shirt with grey trousers on. They all have the FRB lanyard, and two of them have ties, one of them is just unbuttoned shirt. So there's different options for you here today. I could not be put on the cream trousers for the navy shirt as much as I want to, so there's grey ones there. But it does come with the American flag on the tie. Now because yesterday's video is the exact same method, that'll be a more detailed walkthrough of this method. Meaning go check out yesterday's video, link it in the card right here. Click on the eye to see it if you want to be more detailed, as this is going to be much more abridged. Well, to run to the basics rather quickly, you're going to have to have a USB device, any PC or I guess Chromebook, as long as it has a USB device that can be read. And of course, Save Wizard, which does require you to have $59.99 USD. So diving into this, like we've done yesterday, this is going to be very quick. You're going to plug your USB into your console. You're going to copy your save onto the USB, as I've done so here. You're going to pull the USB out to the PlayStation and plug it into your computer. From here, if you don't have Save Wizard already, you should, if you buy it, you'll have a link in the description to do that. There'll be an activation key in your email. Check it. You'll be able to activate the software, and you'll be good to go here. Once you do this, if this is your first time using Save Wizard and you didn't see yesterday's video, you're going to have some random numbers in this bit right here. No worries, just right click and click on register profile. Because my profiles are all taken up, I have all three profiles in mine. I cannot show you the registering profile, but it's going to give you up to a box like this. And from there, you just type in your PSN ID exactly as it is. Case sensitive hyphens underscores everything there. Once you've done that, you're going to double click down the drop down menu here. You're going to right click on the save and you're going to go to advanced mode. From advanced mode, you have all these numbers here. All you're going to do is you're just going to go to the top left, press the zero button, then you're going to go to the right and click on import, and you'll have a variety of saves here. Now there's some more saves I have down below. Of course, there's the yellow SPD saves from the other video that are still available for download. So you just choose whichever detective outfit you want here. Now unlike the LSPD outfits, all three of these can be saved on your account at once. So if you wanted all three of these, you could just rinse and repeat this method with all three different saves. Whichever one you want to go with first, just click on that. There's not going to be any fireworks or anything. It's just going to put the bar back to the left. From there, you're just going to click on apply. Give it some time. It's going to say modification successfully applied. From there, you plot your USB out after pressing enter, and you plug it into your PS4. Once you're in your PS4, you're going to go to Application Save Data Management, and you're going to go to where it says USB Device, Copy to System Storage, and Copy the Save Over. Now, of course, you shouldn't have any auto saves. You should have already deleted the save. The only thing you should have in your actual system storage before this point is just the profile. Now, you've copied the save over. You start up GTA 5, and we'll just do the same method as we did yesterday. You'll be Trevor here. You're going to go to Pause and join a friend. From joining a friend, whether it puts you in his session or makes you join another session, as long as you join a session through a friend, which is okay. You load into the game. Now, this week's time trial is not the same as yesterday's. It's going to be up at Plito Bay near that area where Brannock Pass is, rather than in Elboro Heights. You're going to go up there with a car. Once you're there, once you're hovering over the time trial, you're going to press right on the D-pad. And as soon as you see all the writing pop up, you hold down the D-pad and switch to Michael. From there, you're going to learn the story mode. This is where the glitchiness happens, and this is where it's completely RNG of whether you start your game or not. But what should happen, ideally here, is you'll go to Michael, you'll load in as this weird penguin figure, you'll disappear. And once you've disappeared, you want to run away from where you just were at. And once you see Franklin, you want to press R3 and look back at where your character was just at earlier, where, that, where you spawned in with the penguin. Preferably, you don't move the penguin as you want to see her. Now, if done correctly and you look back, you will see the penguin, though there are times where, like this, it will not appear. If that's the case, you double tap your PlayStation button and you clo it'll close your application. Or if it doesn't close your application, you're going to go to Application Save Data Management, delete the autosave, and you should be good to go from there. If done correctly, you're going to, if you see the penguin though, you're going to switch back to Michael. You'll be the penguin. From there, you'll switch to Trevor. He'll do his scenario. Then you'll switch back to Michael. And from there, you're the penguin once more. Now you have the outfit pretty much, you press pause, go online, starts up an invite or friends only session, and the outfit is yours. Now, as I said earlier, you could save all three variants of the detective, or only two, or even one, depending on which one you like the most. I'm showing you all of them right here. Do note that you will have to resave the police outfit from yesterday, so make sure you do have that saved nearby if you still want the LSPD outfit, as that does have badges and can only be saved last. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know it's very quickly. Again, I will have content for you that does not deal with Save Wizard, and it will be more available for all platforms, including Xbox, and if you play online on PC, including car showcase videos, and I'm also trying to get a Discord set up, so that way if you join it, you can send some of your best cars, and you might be featured on the channel i'll give you full credits of course but that being said i've got a few more outfits this week i'm officer i'm signing out enjoy your day